back with another video for you today. I've got Jessica here with me again. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Oh, happy to be here again. Cool, yeah. So we've got kind of a similar theme. We did a winter fragrances video. We did uh, suggestions of 10 fragrances for winter. And today we've got the Christmas fragrance gift shopping guide video for you. We've got 10 fragrances that are perfect for gifts, gift giving during the Christmas or holiday season. And also I think these will make great wearing uh, fragrances to wear during this time of the year. So if you're curious to learn about these 10 fragrances, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian and this is Jessica. How are you? I'm doing well. It's good to see you again. Nice to see you too. It's been a while. It's been a little bit. Yeah, there aren't any events happening. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we just finished our last, uh, our last show and um, haven't had anything planned until February. Okay, so okay. there's another event at CGO in February. Okay, Coming February. Mm -hmm. We'll have to put that on the calendar. Mm -hmm. So the way we're doing the video, just like we did the last time, we've got five fragrances that I've spoken about on the channel, and we're introducing five more fragrances that I've never spoken about on the channel. And the fragrances are all, all available and sold at ZGO Perfumery. I have a link in the info box. There's a discount code there as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the first fragrance. We're going to a boozy fragrance, an update to the very popular Frappan 1270. This is Frappan's 1270 Extreme, a 2022 launch. This is created by Jerome Epinay. He has created so many fragrances for Byredo and also Wilhelm Parfumery and seems like he's created this one as well. And for me, I feel like this one has been freshened up compared to the last mm -hmm. one. Uh, whereas the last one had a lot of dried fruits, here we have some fresh fruits. And it features notes of pineapple, jasmine, sambac, vine flower, apples, rose, patchouli, tonka, vanilla, gayak, bergamot, and elemi. Lots of stuff going on in here. What do you get with this one? I get a lot of the pineapple and the, uh, where is it, the, the patchouli heart and mm. the vanilla with that amber dry down. Mm. It's big contrast to 1270, the original where it was candied orange and ginger. Mm. I love this one. The little bit of the rose comes out and it's boozy. It's very, it's a cuddly fragrance. I think it's something you can wear out for a night out or a night in. in? <laughs> yes. You know, I also really enjoy this in the heat. I don't know why. The last fragrance, the the, the, the original, because it has those uh, dried fruits and more dense notes, maybe could get cloying. But because this has the fresh notes, uh, I feel like it does really well in the heat. Uh, even though it's an ambery fragrance, I feel like there's lots of freshness here. It's That's a great true. fragrance. Uh, I think it's a great fragrance for gift giving. Uh, it's a the, a cognac brand who has fragrances, if you guys mm -hmm. didn't know what Frappan mm -hmm. was or is. Um, so definitely worth checking out if you're into boozy fragrances. So Frappan 1270 Extreme. So in the last video Jessica and I did, we featured a fragrance from Goldfield and Banks called Purple Suede. Today I'm going to my favorite from this house. This is Silky Woods. And you, you know, we also did a video together uh, overview of the entire mm -hmm. uh, collection of uh, Goldfield and Banks fragrances so you can go catch that but this mm -hmm. is absolutely a very delicious creamy butterscotchy caramelly vanilla fragrance with lots of woods and an oud, wo uh, oud wood note as well mm -hmm. so this came out in 2021 I couldn't figure out who the perfumer is it features agar wood suede exotic vanilla tobacco leaves saffron incense ylang ylang sandalwood and what do you get with this one? Yeah, I get a lot of the woods, the tobacco-ish, mm. and the the sandalwood with the vanilla. That's what I get a lot of that. Um, I also, it, it's it's a very comfortable scent. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm messing up my words here because I'm trying not to repeat what we said in the last review. Oh no, say, <laughs> say what you said in the last review. I think it totally makes sense. It's very vanillic, but lots of woods in there, but there's definitely a spiciness, and I think we're getting that from the tobacco leaves and the saffron. The saffron creates a leathery touch, and they've already got some suede leather mm -hmm. in there as well. And a bit of a, you know, light floral touch from that ylang ylang yellow flowers, but very creamy. Me. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of the suede even today. Yeah? Yeah, it's kind of being through. So a slight leatheriness too, mm -hmm. on top of which. 
Do, the, do your customers at ZGO like this one? Oh yeah, yeah. You, even if they weren't looking for something like this, if I introduce this to people, they generally um, generally tend to, it, they, it generally tends to walk out the door if mm -hmm. I introduce. Also, um, the bottle just on a gift giving level is so nice. So gold. It's so gold. It has a little bit of 24 karat gold in the plating. Mm. So that's just, as a gift. Yeah, I think that makes a great, great gift. The yeah. color of this bottle is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the third fragrance we're going to recommend. Uh, it is Gris Charnel from BDK. In the last video we did, we recommended Gris Charnel X-ray, and this time we're going with the original. I think this is a very popular fragrance, correct? I have, it's been like really popular. You guys do a lot of uh, sales with this yeah, one? Yeah, we don't have a best seller per se because so many of our clients are connoisseurs and they like what they like, but this one for a long time was by far the most requested perfume and the one that walked out the door the most often. Mm. Mm -hmm. So this is a 2019 release. It's created by Mathilde Bijou. Man, I see her name come up so many times. I just bought a fragrance from Jo Malone and her name was on that fragrance as well. Um, that featured also figs. This is a fig fragrance, but it features sandalwood, cardamom, fig, black tea, iris, tonka beans, bourbon vetiver. So it seems like it's not necessarily an ultra feminine fragrance also not ultra masculine so it's like a very unisex offering right you know one thing about this perfume too is I noticed it's a fragrance that all people like not necessarily just men or women mm. it's a people's sort of fragrance people of different orientations of different lifestyles uh, different tastes something that has that universal appeal okay I feel like the tea is very prominent in this uh, along with that sandalwood the cardamom definitely does come in and of course the fig fruit and I think it's the fruit here we don't get much greenness with this one no I, you get a lot of cardamom and fig in this one mm -hmm. for sure um, the tonka pokes through that the vetiver keeps it nice and and deep mm. uh, instead of fruity right yeah totally yeah it's a great fragrance definitely loved by a lot of people Gris Charnel from the house of BDK. This next fragrance we recommended in the last video and I just can't get enough of it and I'm sure you love this one as well. I do. Hmm? <laughs> do you? I mean I do. I, I... <laughs> it's Blanche Bet from A Liquid Imaginaire. Oh my god this is such a delicious fragrance. It is. It's become my favorite fragrance from this house. Yes. It's so yummy. It's a 2022 launch created by Louise Turner. Blanche Bet features notes of ambrette or musk mallow, milk, jasmine, tuberose, mahonial, vanilla, tonka beans, cocoa, and musk. Did I say musk? Musk mallow is what mm -hmm. I said. But yummy, lactonic, creamy, milky, kind of a powdery, cozy fragrance. Yeah. This, what do you get? Well, this one I get that, um, the marshmallow. Hmm. I get the musk and then I get somehow on the dry down, at least in my experience, something kind of woodsy. Um, is there any Ambroxan in here? I don't think we have Ambroxan. Okay, there's something that stays kind of sparkly even in the middle of that. So perhaps it's the, it's the, sweet, uh, the sweet musks. Uh, yeah, well, we've got the ambrette note, mm -hmm. and ambrette is this wonderful note to create musky fragrances. It does have some fruity nuances and also some light booziness mm -hmm. as well. But for me, I also get like a medicinal touch from ambrette, but here I don't get that. It's just yeah. very, very beautiful, cozy, creamy, uh, almost frosted cream, like the way the bottle is. I don't know, maybe if that's like a subconscious thing I'm seeing that kind of like frosted snow effect on here, but... Uh, I think that was intentional. I get yeah. that with this yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. But you mentioned that this translates to something unicorn, Blanche Bet. Blanche Bet is French for unicorn. Unicorn. Mm -hmm. Okay. I did not know this. So something of like mystical sort of fragrance, Blanche Bet. There definitely is a theme in this in this scent. Okay. You know, one thing I keep forgetting to mention in my videos about this fragrance is I get like a powdered rice effect with this one. I wonder if you ever... I used to eat a lot of... Uh, rice custard, rice pudding is what I should say, rice pudding, and it's got that kind of a smell in here. Oh, I can see that. I get, I get kind of like a uh, cocoa. I get a lot cocoa. of the cocoa for me. Okay. I could see the rice part of it. Mm -hmm. For me, I get that little tiny bit of cocoa element to it. Not okay. a sweetened one, but I see. I can see the rice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Cool. And speaking of liquid imaginers, we've got one more fragrance for you from this house, and this is a really great festive fragrance for this time of the year. This is Dom Rosa. You guys know this one? This I've been a fan of since when I first smelled it at Barney's like probably almost 10 years ago. To me, I go to a lot of uh, wineries and go wine tasting and it reminds me of when you walk into the, the caves where they're actually having the, the barrels of wine. I get that kind of a smell in here, but more in champagne form, more like a sparkling form. But it's a 2013 launch. Sonia Constant is the perfumer. You've got notes of champagne accord, damask rose, pomelo, pear, cloves, olibanum, woods, cedarwood, vetiver, and guyac wood. Lots of stuff happening. Mm -hmm. What do you get with this one? I get a lot of the rose, the champagne, and the pear. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she tried some on earlier. We were testing it out with, with her chemistry. And for sure, the rose, the champagne, it was very sparkling and fizzy on her mm -hmm. and lots of pear as well. A lot of pear. Yeah, I did not get the woodsy. I mean, barely citrusy. Um, uh, the, I know that there's the, the wine accord. When people come in, they ask for the wine perfume and this, <laughs> I know which one so they're good. talking about. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't get the wine accord. I get the champagne and the fizzy, fruity, uh, rosy, sparkly, feminine. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's very champagne-like, but champagne in the end is very wine to mm -hmm. me. And I've drank a lot of uh, sparkling wines that are made with red grapes, so there's definitely more of a winey kind of smell to it. And for me, it's like a very sparkling wine, uh, really red. We, yeah, do you think it's like a sparkling wine or more like a rosé? No, definitely sparkling for some reason yeah. because it's got that fizz. It's like yeah. very, very effervescent. Right. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Anyway, Dom Rosa. What a great fragrance this is. Mm -hmm. It's very festive and perfect for like a New Year's night out. Don't you think? I, actually, that's a great idea. Yeah. I'm going to wear that on New Year's. Okay. I'm going to take your suggestion. <laughs> All right. Moving on to the sixth fragrance. And remember, as I mentioned earlier, these fragrances are new to me and mostly to you as well. This one is new to me. Yeah. These are mm -hmm. fairly new and we're going to talk about them for the first time on the channel. This is from the house of Obvious Parfums and mm -hmm. we featured Obvious Parfums fragrances in the last video. This is probably the most complex in this collection. It's Un Oud that just launched recently created by Camille Chimardin. I don't know this perfumer, but she's done a good job with this one. You know, I am surprised. I like it a lot. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a good departure from their other fragrances. Yeah, the other fragrances seem like they're very layerable. This one seems so complex that I think you should just wear it on its mm -hmm. own, but then you can still layer it. But this features notes of pink berries, papyrus essence, elemi essence, leather, cardamom essence, oud essence, vetiver, Virginia cedar, and saffron. Mm -hmm. For me, this is a very woody fragrance with a very very prominent papyrus essence there's lots of papyrus in here and it totally stands out but there's oud there's lots of woods mm -hmm. and it's very very masculine leaning thoughts uh, I think it's a really soft it's it's somehow it's very strong but it's also very soft mm. and it's also very fresh so sometimes if somebody, maybe somebody doesn't want a really heavy oud, but they still want that incense woodsy profile with, you know, maybe a little brighter and lighter, yeah. this would be a good option. I, I agree with her on the fresh because um, it, it doesn't have a lot of warm notes. It doesn't have warmth like amber and things like that. It's all woods. And for me, woods are very, very fresh notes. It's not necessarily deep and rich. And I mean, it can be deep, rich, heavy, but it doesn't go like warm, ambery, kind of in those directions. No, no. It wears maybe more of like a, uh, a modern perfume style. Yeah, I think also if you like the idea of something like uh, Tom Ford's Oud Wood with Gucci Pour Homme One, because that one featured a lot of papyrus. Uh, just think of those two fragrances. It's kind of what you get here with Un Oud. Because the, the papyrus in here for me is very, very standout. Uh, with the spicy pink be pink berries or pink pepper as well. So uh, a great fragrance. And it's only $140 for this for 100 ml. So it makes for a great Oud fragrance. Yeah. All right. Up next, the seventh fragrance we're going to talk to you about is from the House of Fragrance Dubois. It's New York Fifth Avenue. A place you want to be during the holidays at Christmas, right? Um, yeah, for some really good shopping. <laughs> yeah. Lots of great shopping there. And this is a great fragrance uh, that I... 
almost ended up reviewing back in early part of 2021 while I was at Saffler Bond, but I stepped down from my role there. I never got to review it, but I actually got to sample it in 2019 when the brand first launched this fragrance in a can for Duty Free. So I've been wanting to talk to you guys about this fragrance for the longest time. It's created by Shadi Samra, it features notes of rose, cypriol, cashmere, caramel, vanilla, musk, gayak, violet, and bergamot. So what do you get with this one? I get kind of a, a dusty, soft rose. Mm. For me, it has a very Middle Eastern a smell to it. It almost seems like there's oud in the notes, but I'm not seeing it listed anywhere. But it's very woody, it's earthy with that cypriol note. It's very, very prominent. It's also got lots of musk. The rose is jammy, but the actual fragrance itself is dry, so it's kind of like mm -hmm. this contrast of this jammy rose with this dry notes in the background. But it's got musk, it's got lots of woods, and a little bit of freshness in there as well from the yeah. bergamot. Yeah, I think I think that your description of that, that's what I get, it kind of like the dusty, it's, it's a bit dry, but then it's also a gourmand with the caramel notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do have to also say that violet note in here, whenever I see violet and rose, there's definitely like a little bit of a makeup-y smell to it mm. in the background and whenever the violet comes in with rose to me it kind of reminds me of makeup yes yes going back to the dusty the powdery mm -hmm. yes a yeah. dry powder yeah yeah this is really good it's a complex fragrance very complex yes. really beautiful and again i feel like there's oud in here but there's no oud listed it's got a very middle eastern smell to it which i like um Without the oud, I guess. Anyway, Fragrance Dubois New York Fifth Avenue is the seventh fragrance. But at eight, it is BDK's Rouge Smoking. Now, I did a top something uh, cherry fragrances video recently. Got, I don't know how many comments I received. Where is Rouge Smoking? Where is Rouge Smoking? Okay, it's finally here, okay? So we're talking about it today on the channel for the first time. This is a 2018 launch created by Amélie Bourgeois. Another name that I see coming up quite a bit in fragrances. She's a perfumer, obviously. Black vanilla, cherry, pink berries, heliotrope, tonka beans, cashmiran, white musk, ambroxan, and labdanum. This is really delicious, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it, on you, it came out quite almondy, surprisingly. Yeah, tonka beans and helio. So heliotrope is this powdery, the like purple flower that has this lots of powderiness, and there's an almondy smell, like a light almondy essence to it, mixed with the tonka beans, which is kind of bitter almondy. I feel like it's a great contrast to the cherries because cherries and almonds are always mixed together. And Emily Bourgeois has done a great job with this one. On me, it smells fantastic, oh super gosh. delicious. But it's kind of like a fruity cherry gourmand. Lightly, it might remind you of lost cherry, but then it, it doesn't because I feel like the cherry and the um, vanillic almondy notes yeah. in here are kind of balancing it out. Not as sweet. Not as lost sweet. Lost cherry is pretty sweet. This is a, this is more a, a kind of more... It's nutty. Yeah, it's more nutty. How else to explain it? And the pink berries give it a little bit of that uh, sparkly... Uh, Spice. Uh, yes, thank you. Yeah. So yeah, this is really good. It's a, it's a new discovery. You guys were right about this. It's a great, great fragrance. Also really nicely, beautifully red for the holidays. Uh, delicious. Anyway, if you guys like gourmands, if you like uh, nutty, almondy, cherry, vanillic fragrances, definitely try it. Up next at number nine, remember this is an unranked list. This is the House of Oud's Dates Delight. Look mm -hmm. at this beautiful, beautiful bottle. Do you guys like this house? They make some really interesting fragrances and their bottles are just beautiful works of art, don't you think? So this is a 2016 launch. It's fairly new to me on the channel. It features notes of Riyadh dates, cinnamon, caramel, tonka beans, iced sugar, benzoin, labdanum, coumarin, peony, kalimantan, oud. This would have been perfect in my cinnamon fragrances mm -hmm. video. Sadly, I did not have it at the time. But to me, it's like a Middle Eastern dessert come to life. Well, you just sprayed so much on you that I'm just sitting here smelling it completely like it's the first time. And I am getting so much cinnamon. Um, I usually get a lot of the dates and the caramel. Um, it, it, it's a date gourmand, right? Mm -hmm. It's uh, very, it's, it's, it is. Yeah, it's a big fragrance. <laughs> Getting a little bit of that coumarin, mm -hmm. the, the labdanum. The, the tonka and the coumarin, they're both uh, related here. We've got light 
almondy a bitterness in here. We also have a bit of a tobacco-ish nuance against mm -hmm. the cinnamon and the Riyadh dates or the dates in general. They mentioned ice sugar, so it's got some light sweetness, but also very ambery in the dry down. Light, very, very light floral touch with that um, funk of oud. It's not animalic per se, but it's not necessarily like gourmand, all gourmand, because there's definitely like an oudy funk in there. Getting the cinnamon, the ice sugar, the dates pretty strongly over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they smell nice. They, yeah, I did. I sprayed quite a bit of it. Uh, it'll be in the uh, in the bonus section in the outro. Yeah. As the last fragrance we're going to talk to you about is a new one from the House of Royal Crown. This is the second time I'm talking about this house. Uh, we did a video, uh, as I mentioned a couple weeks ago, we featured uh, the fragrance Nocturna from Royal Crown. This is Nizam, a new fragrance from this house, which now you guys are carrying the brand at mm -hmm. ZGO Perfumery. What do you think about this one? But you know, before you tell me, uh, I didn't mention what the notes are. This is a 2022 launch. It features aquatic and water notes, Amalfi lemon, orange blossom, cypress, mandarin orange, gray amber, vetiver, birch, gray musk, cardamom, heliotrope, tulsi, which is basically holy mm. basil. Mm -hmm. Lots of stuff going on in this. It's somewhat complex, and, but it's very water and fresh. Yeah, this one's also an interesting vetiver. It's not the most classic vetiver. It's salty and uh, it's salty and a bit marine. Yeah, I think we're getting the marine touch from the ambergris or gray amber mm -hmm. as they say in here, but it's got this powderiness and lots of greenness thrown in mm -hmm. and there of course we've got the green colored juice and we're getting that greenness from the cypress node in here. Vetiver might have a little bit of earthy greenness as well, but there's definitely lots of uh, uh, powderiness from the heliotrope and a citrusy touch uh, mm -hmm. with the um, with the watery aquatic marine uh, type of presence in here, mm -hmm. but a very unique vetiver. Yeah, I think that also that the, the Tulsi holy basil, which I like as a tea, um, I don't think I've smelled that in a perfume yet. I can see that adding to it, that slight medicinal touch to it, ever so slight, but then I think that there the, is or a, the orange agree. blossom definitely keeps it from turning into a, a medicinal sort of fragrance. Mm. It takes on a kind of a more of a soapy characteristic whenever Mm -hmm. the orange blossom comes in but it's a very fresh I think this will do great in the summertime I, I yeah it is has a very nice fresh that's it's a salty it's uh, slightly sweet and also like the bottle is just people Gorgeous. have been people have been loving this it's definitely an attention grabber the bottle is also like two pounds it's pretty heavy uh, it's and Swarovski crystal Ooh, and really? painted enamel yes Beautiful bottle. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful presentation. So it's for a gift that's like pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a great gift idea for sure. Definitely going to dig into Royal Crown further on the channel, but I think uh, Nizam is a great gift. Makes a great gift. Yes. Totally. I wouldn't mind receiving that as a gift. Do you think this is better for a man or a woman? I think this fragrance in general is more masculine. Mm. The previous fragrance we featured in the last video would be more unisex, yeah. better suited for a woman, the Nocturna. But uh, I think a woman might like fresh marine notes, so. Yeah, yeah. So if you know who you're gifting and their taste and fragrances, uh, you can decide at that time. That's but right. Royal Crown by Nizam. And that's the last fragrance for you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you. Guys, if you have any questions or comments about any of these fragrances, do let me know. Let me know if you want me to do videos on a few of these houses, like uh, the, definitely Royal Crown. Uh, another one would be Fragrance Dubois, and then also the House of Oud. I think I've covered the other houses fairly enough, maybe BDK as well, but um, let me know if you want to hear more about these houses that I haven't spoken too much about. But also, if you're in the market for any gifts, I have a link in the info box to ZGO, and there is a, a discount code there as well, and it, it works on all of these fragrances. So you can click on the link and head over there and um, check out uh, with that discount code. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much for coming by. Thanks, Sebastian. Maybe we'll do more next year. It's coming up. Yeah. It sounds so far away, but we're already there. I'm almost, I yeah, know. it's almost there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah. this was this is a this is a great selection, I think. Yeah, I think they'll make great gifts. Uh, 
for people on your gift list. But either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Bye. Let me spray some. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Put it in my eye. You can like do a little clip of me going like. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Woo! Guide to overspraying. <laughs> that smells nice. Okay.